In this video, I'm going to be doing a review of the TaylorMade 8.0 stand bag. Charlie, hit that montage. So overall, it's gonna be a quick review of this bag. Just some key notes I notated while using this bag. But usually I think this bag's pretty cool. I do like this pattern on here. I think it's pretty cool. I kind of just like overall that pocket's look and that little separation there. I think it's a really good looking bag. I'm always a fan when it has these oversized loops for your zipper because I have big hands, so it's just nice to be able to grab that very easily. Buttons with the tailor-made T on there. It does feature a 14-way divide top. However, these aren't full divides, so there are just kind of little sections of this bag. So if you do have your clubs in a row, there is a good possibility they could get tangled up on each other. Just as a little friendly heads up in case you didn't know. Features seven pouches, two small like valuables pouches, two wardrobes, and a few of these front pockets that which you can use for various items. And it does also feature this little T holder there that which, I don't know, the quality of that I'm not a fan of. This front top pocket here, kind of on the smaller size, it does look like it's gonna be fairly large, but once you start putting things in there, it's not a lot of space. I definitely see a lot bigger pockets from a lot of other companies. There's a little bit of a letdown on that category. So another key feature of it, something you're interested in, is it does not have a cooler pocket anywhere. So I know for a lot of people, at least in the US here, we definitely enjoy having that. So it's a little bit of a shame that they don't have it on this. This is a lower price point bag, in terms of golf bags at $220. So it does feature a lot less features than a lot of other bags I've reviewed. Also, I'm not a fan of all this wasted space that they have up here. I feel like they could have really either moved that pocket up or done something with that. It looks like with that line in there, it makes me think that this pocket is gonna go up, but as you can see, that's as far up as it goes. And while those pockets are decent size, they're not anything to write home about. You can fit some stuff in there, maybe some gloves or snacks in there, but really there's not a whole lot you can fit in there. Another big knock on this bag, which always disappoints me when a bag doesn't feature this, is anywhere for cart straps to go. So if you're gonna strap this onto a cart or a push cart, you're gonna have to run it up here, hopefully, and it doesn't really line up, so you're kind of covering up this pocket, almost rendering it useless. So I understand why they have this blank space here, but again, a lot of waste of real estate, you could have just, like a lot of other companies, made some cart strap slots right there and we wouldn't have a problem. Most all of these pouches on here are just pretty basic and smaller comparison to a lot of other bags I've reviewed. Kind of a disappointment with this being such a major name and player in the game that they make a bag that's just kind of subpar all around. The overall material doesn't feel that great. The divides up here, it's just, has this crunchy foam that personally I just, it just reams cheap to me and I just, I'm not a fan of that. The handles don't feel that great when you're picking it up by it. At this price point, it's an okay price point. I think you could find better for even less than this. It doesn't have a lot of redeeming qualities to it or key features I feel like. It's just kind of your basic bag, it works. It gets the job done, don't get me wrong. If you're looking for something a little special, I wouldn't say this is kind of a, the bag you should get. It's lacking a lot of features, that's really kind of bums me out about this bag. So why I recommend this bag, no. If you want to see other bags that I recommend and other bag reviews, please go ahead and click this link here. And don't forget, if you enjoy this, please subscribe. It means a lot to me. See you in the next one.